In this edition of UTA Spotlight, we take you to a UTA event hosted by the UTA Police Department. We also talk to the best dressed students on campus. Later, we bring you a new series called Campus Talk, where we check in with students mid-semester. UTA Spotlight starts now. Welcome to UTA Spotlight. I'm Aiden Castillo. And I'm Drew Rahman. Thank you for joining us. The UTA Police Department hosted their 40th National Night Out celebration in Brazos Park. ASN reporter Alejandro Contreras was on the scene with a closer look. The UTA Police Department hosted the 40th National Night Out celebration. It's a night dedicated to promoting safety and building a stronger bond between law enforcement and the community. The event is part of a nationwide initiative supported by the National Association of Town Watch to help raise awareness about drug and crime prevention while also promoting local involvement. Attendees enjoyed a wide range of activities from games and contests to live music, car showcases, free food, and dance performances. Organizations have set up booths offering information and giveaways to those in attendance. We are different type of people out here. We all just get together and get very excited. Now that I know what's a, what it's about, it's like really informative and like keeps you aware. In addition to the fun and festivities, National Night Out is also an opportunity to discuss important safety topics. The men and women in blue are not just present, they're actively engaging with attendees. It's all part of the effort to bridge the gap between the police force and the community. It makes me feel free, and on top of that, I get to interact with other people. Workshops and presentations on personal safety, emergency preparedness, and crime prevention are being held throughout the event. While this is a national campaign, it's clear this event lived up to its mission. The UTA Police Department strived to build a better relationship between them at the UTA campus as well as surrounding communities. Laugh and, and chat with each other and learn things. I think that makes uh, this event a success in our book. He says the message is to work together and help those around us in our community. Alejandro Contreras, Arlington Sentinel News. National Night Out is a campaign that is recognized across the U.S. While it is normally celebrated in August of this year, Texas, however, celebrates the initiative on the first Tuesday in October. With mid-semester rolling in, we bring you a new series called Campus Talk, where we interview various students on campus and hear their opinions. This semester has been hard for many, and I checked in with some students at the Library Mall and listened to what they had to say and advice they give for future students. How's your semester been so far? Well, the semester's been pretty good, actually. Um, a lot of classes, I'm taking a lot. I'm in a lot of organizations, but it's going great. We'll survive. So far, I'm really stressed with my physics class. It's really hard, but other than that, pretty chill. What's been your biggest challenge so far this semester, and how have you overcome it? Uh, probably scheduling problems. I'm a freshman, so I didn't get like a ton of registration options. Uh, I got here at 9 this morning. My class ended up being canceled, and I didn't have another class till 1, and I have to be here till 7 today. So far, my biggest challenge is picking the wrong professor. So, um, yeah, before you pick a professor, please do your research. After talking to almost a dozen students, it seems that the top three issues for students are parking, time management, and study space. To watch the full video, stay tuned for its upcoming release on our YouTube page. There is currently a fast-growing sport that is impacting the Arlington community in a positive way. Reporter Leah Salinas has more. The Arlington Tennis Center is the biggest outdoor facility with multiple courts for the fastest growing sport, pickleball. The idea of adding outside pickleball courts came from a gentleman during the start of COVID. And from there on, the sport has taken off in Arlington. Uh, they had eight courts put down. People would bring their lawn chairs, sit out here and play pickleball. And so um, uh, James has grown. Um, grown the pickleball with private lessons, drills, and then now leagues. These courts at the Arlington Tennis Center have created close relationships between each individual player through the sport of pickleball. Pickleball creates community because all the people that once since I've started playing, my friends, uh, relationships that I've made is just, just tenfold. Uh, and it's 
most of the people that come out are, are, are great people. You get to know them, so that creates relationships. There is even hope from players coming from other cities just to play pickleball in Arlington, that more courts would be built in other areas along with the community that the sport brings. My only wish is that I wish there were many more places like the Arlington Tennis I said, like right now, I mean, look at how many courts there are. We don't have to wait you know, after each other. You, know, you can just come in, hop in, play, and move on. This is Leah Salinas with Arlington Sentinel News. The Arlington Tennis Center allows anyone to play the sport for a day or to join their league. It's worth checking out. With a diverse university comes stylish and unique outfits. Our reporter Valeria Martinez was able to spot the best dressed on campus and pick their brain on their inspirations. Hey UTA, I'm Valeria and today I'm out here at the UC Mall looking for best dressed students on campus. I got this sweater from Sheen <laughs> and the jeans are from Cotton On and I got my docs from the mall. My shoes are from Balenciaga, my pants are from Zara, my belt is off-white, it's just an off-white belt, my lanyard is from Nike Korea, and this shirt is just like, it's from AliExpress, and then <laughs> The, back, the backpack is from Neopets, and then this necklace is a Louis Vuitton lock, a chain that I made. I also made this hat. The uh, hoodie and the shoes are uh, basically from, I, I bought an NFT and they provide me the Keith, uh, Keith friends. So uh, the Keith is uh, based in New York. Uh, this is all from Goodwill. Oh, I love that. That's amazing. Use three words to describe your sense of style. As a college student, what would those three words be? Um, comfort, easy to put together, and cute. Diverse. Pants, ripped jeans, and black. I like to wear um, more uh, bigger shirts, larger size shirts, yeah. What inspired you to put this outfit together today? Literally new jeans, oh my god, my new jeans. <laughs> in morning I was in good mood, so I like, uh, I uh, picked this outfit for, yeah. Uh, I needed something for fall. And this is fall colors. So, yeah. We have some interesting and unique fashion here at UTA. What did you guys think? Back to y'all. That's a really nice suit. I think you were definitely a candidate for best dress. Oh, thanks, dude. I really like your necklace as well. It looks really good on you. Thank you. Anyways, that's all we have for today for this edition of UTA Spotlight. To stay up to date with us, please follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and X at MavMediaUTA. I'm Aiden Castillo. And I'm Drea Rahman. Thank you so much for joining us. See you next time.